Hey guys, they're framing it. Let's go. Uh, let's go walk through it real quick. So I'm really lucky. I don't know where the crew is, but I fully would have expected that they would be out here on this pretty day finishing up the framing. But maybe they got pulled off. It's 11 o'clock. Um, they ain't at lunch and they usually eat on the job site so they just stopped work and left so I don't know if rain came in I don't know what was going on I will uh, I'll be walking I've got to uh, after we get done with the video I will be walking back through to look at all the work and the details um, just kind of make sure that there's nothing that jumps out at me. It's really, it's really unfair for me to be really working and walking and judging right now because this is in process. Anything they missed, the guys working on trim molding over there. Sorry about the saw. Anything they missed, um, they're going to correct. And they've got so many inspections and stuff that at the framing stage, right now with the struts and the supports in place, they're still adding and repairing and recutting and doing stuff like that. But I don't know if you can tell, oh, the sun's there, sorry. I don't know if you can tell like right there where these boards are joined, how many nails are in there. You know, we're looking for like all kinds of stuff. Like see these boards, these little burrs and stuff is fine. We're looking for, sorry, the mic was around. We're looking for divots in the two by fours, structural integrity problems. Um, these larger boards, we want to make sure it's not missing a lot of the wood. So the structural integrity is nice and good. Um, we want to make sure that everything's secured properly. Um, so if you see, I don't know, let's see, can you see that right there? Let me put it down there for you. Let me get it that way. See how it's got threads on it? So that thing is literally going to have a nut on it that is bolting down the walls of the home to the concrete. Now that technique, that all thread is embedded in the cement. I'm going to show you another example. Okay, so that methodology is one that's approved in a larger area around here. It's kind of how everybody ought to be doing the foundation. And that's the, found, the wall retention system that's embedded in the foundation. Having that all thread in the cement, so basically that's in the ground and they pour the cement and that's in hardened concrete. It ain't coming out unless you took a jackhammer and broke that concrete up. And then bolting it down in that manner is a very approved, very solid methodology. You will get people that do, or builders I should say, that get waivers and they'll use um, like a stamped aluminum almost ribbon that is embedded down in there and it kind of comes up like aluminum foil and then they either nail or staple or screw that into the sides of the two by fours. I really like that methodology. I mean, it is, it is a super simple rock solid methodology and it's worked well for a long time. And the stability in there is solid. As I'm walking around right now, you can't see it. You can't see it on there. But at the base, you can see all the little black all thread sticking up at a measured distance. And you know, we're looking for stuff like that just to make sure nothing was missed. Everything's where it should be. You know, everything's in the right place. Um, the job site's reasonably clean considering they're actively framing it. One of my big indicators on the quality of the construction crew and the site is how clean is the job site kept. That's a really big indicator. So I am trying to find, yep, that's super muddy. All right, I'm not gonna go over there. I was gonna go walk the back of that and just kind of look at the grading and stuff on there. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. The beams are nice and solid. The, the cuts, the miters and everything look real clean. Um, the angles look real square. 
I mean, so far it's, it looks like they're doing a good job. They are much farther along across the street, um, but you know, I don't know where they went. They disappeared on us. They're probably gonna need, I'd say at least probably two more days, maybe two and a half more days to finish up the framing. I could be wrong on that, but it usually we, we look at a house this size framing probably four to seven days and that's about a day and a half's worth of work maybe. I don't know, it just depends how fast they are. But overall, it's coming along great. Um, can't wait to see it finished. That's, that's really gonna give us our first indicator is the way that framing looks when it's sitting on your lot is gonna start foreshadowing how the house will look. So you can kind of tell over there, like that house looks more substantial like a house and the runners, the vertical studs and all that, that's what this house will look like as they add more meat to it. All right. Okay, I gotta go over there and start walking the rest of the house. I will catch up with you guys next week. Um, and other than that, I hope you guys are doing well. Talk to you later.